If you're after a comprehensive guide on cleaning your Quest 3, then you've come to the right place. But before you skip ahead, I'd like to mention the sponsor of today's video, and that is VR Cover. This VR product can help you keep your Quest 3 cleaner for longer. I've been using VR Cover products ever since I owned my first ever Quest. Yes, I'm talking about this dinosaur, and I can attest to the quality of their products. But VR Cover has been offering VR comfort and hygiene accessories ever since 2014. And in this video, I'm demoing the first of their Quest 3 products. Now, there are many more VR products to come from VR Cover, but this one is a multi layered VR cover made from super soft antimicrobial fabric. It's great for absorbing sweat when you're having those intense workout sessions, and it can be hand washed really quickly and easily, which is something I'll demonstrate in this video. It has a thin foam lining for comfort, and it installs really easily over the original Quest 3 facial interface. It comes in gray and red. I have a discount code in the description below that gives you 10% off. Now this is valid only for the Quest 3 products, and I'll link the online stores that the code is valid for in the description below. To clean your Quest, you will need microfiber cleaning cloths, a camera lens brush, a makeup brush, or any similar kind of soft brush. I'm using an AR VR lens brush for this particular demonstration. An air duster, this is optional. I'm using an electronic one here, but you can use the canned air dusters too, although I'll exercise a little bit of caution with that because they can release aerosol if they get a bit cold or you tilt them at the wrong angle. That's why I prefer to use this electronic one here some regular masking tape, a thin rigid prying tool like this plastic pick I'm using here, and some baby wipes or distilled water. The baby wipe should be alcohol free, fragrance free, and preferably antibacterial. Or you might want to use distilled water and a cloth instead. You'll also need a toothbrush and mild soap, unscented liquid soap that's gentle on the skin. Then finally, a thin sheet of cardboard like this one. We start by taking off the head strap. Then we pop out the facial interface, starting with the top corners. Then I work my way down and pop out the nose piece area to take it off completely. Then using my brush, I go over the quest, both the outside, the inside, brushing off any loose dust and dirt. I do this before I wipe it down because sometimes loose dust, dirt and grit can actually scratch the plastic or lenses if it gets caught under your cleaning cloth. Then on to the next step which is optional but I use my air duster to blow away any bits of dust that my brush wasn't able to reach. Then I get my baby wipes, remember these are alcohol free, fragrance free and antibacterial. Essentially if they're gentle enough to use on a baby's bottom then they should be gentle enough for your Quest 3 baby. Now you don't have to use wipes either, you can use distilled water and a cloth, either way is fine. The reason I say to use distilled water rather than tap water is because tap water contains impurities and distilled water does not, which reduces streaking and gives you a better finish when you clean your Quest 3. And you wipe down the outside of your Quest, the inside as well, but just don't touch the lenses and we'll clean those later. If you put any liquid on the lenses, even water, you could risk damaging them. Next, you'll notice these gaps on your Quest 3 and these can really collect dirt and dust. So to clean inside those, I get my prying tool, this thin plastic pick I'm using here, place it inside a baby wipe and then I just go along the edge until it's all nice and clean. Next we get onto the lenses. I use a microfiber lens cleaning cloth like the one you're seeing here. It's completely dry, no chemicals, no liquids. And that's important, it has to be completely dry. I start from the middle of the lens and just in circular motion clean the lens, making wider and wider circles until I reach the edge. But if you do have a particularly stubborn stain and a dry cloth just won't cut it, spray a fine mist of distilled water onto a section of your cleaning cloth to help wipe away that smudge or stain. A tiny amount of distilled water won't be enough to harm the lenses, but it might be just enough to cut through that stubborn smudge or stain. Then there's the ARVR lens pen. Now again, this is optional. You don't need to use one of these. A lens cleaning cloth does the job just fine, but you can use this too. And if you're interested in checking it out, I'll link it in the description below. Then on the outside for the different sensors and cameras, I again use the dry lens cleaning cloth to go over those too. 
Now onto the controllers. The first thing I do with the controllers is take the batteries out. Then while I'm there, I get my wipes and I wipe inside that compartment, making sure not to wet the metal contacts because I don't want them to rust. Using my wipes, I go over the face of the controller, go around those triggers and those buttons, especially those cracks and crevices around the buttons. They can be real dirt collectors. So really getting in those tight spaces. Same for the top of the controller under the thumbstick too. And as for the small gaps and seams in the controllers, I use a bit of cardboard and just run it along those tight edges. And that gets out all the stubborn dirt and gunk that gets trapped within those crevices. Now onto the facial interface. I have my two VR cover sleeves here for the facial interface and I'll show you how to clean those two. First, starting with the stock facial interface, I get my baby wipes and I run it over the facial interface. But if you want a more deeper clean, depending on how dirty your facial interface is, maybe there's a lots of grease and oil and grime. So using a cold water mild soap solution, damp your microfiber cloth, making sure not to get it sopping wet, just damp enough to clean it. And that mild soap there will break down the grease and oils that come from your face. Now I wouldn't recommend completely submerging the facial interface into the water, because while you can do this and let the facial interface dry, and it probably won't do too much damage first time round if you keep on doing it. What happens is that sponge inside gets brittle and eventually it will degrade and break down. So that's why I recommend just wiping the facial interface rather than submerging it completely in water and letting it soak up that water. However, with the VR cover, it's a little bit different. Simply wash my hand using cold water and then hang dry as it says on the VR cover support page. Once you've wiped the facial interface with mild soap solution, wipe it down again just using water. Finally, to finish off the cleaning of the facial interface, I get my masking tape, roll up a ball, and just use it to take off any bits and pieces left over. Sometimes you'll find pieces of lint left over from wiping the facial interface down, and the masking tape is great at lifting off any leftover bits and pieces on the interface without actually making it sticky. Next we go to our head strap, which is much like the facial interface. You can just use a wipe, or if you want a more deeper clean, use the mild soap solution to wipe it down. And if there are any stubborn stains, you can even use your toothbrush to scrub away at them and remove them. You can use the toothbrush for the facial interface too, and the VR cover sleeve if there are stubborn stains. Otherwise, a cleaning cloth should be fine. And you can do the same for the wrist strap. Just wipe it down with a wipe or use a detergent solution. Now finally, before we put our headset together, as a long time Quest 2 owner, I've had many black scuffs and marks on my Quest 2. And because of the off-white color, those scuff marks really show up. So here are some of the things I've used in the past for my Quest 2 that I recommend using on your Quest 3 if you get any scuff marks. Just a word of warning, some of the things I'm gonna to use to clean these scuff marks off aren't recommended by Meta, mainly because they're harsh on the plastics. But when you have a stubborn scuff mark or stain, I found these methods the best way of removing them. Starting with the first, I use a glass cleaner or multi-purpose cleaner with a cloth to see if that removes the scuff mark. If it doesn't, I usually move on to something like isopropyl alcohol. Now the isopropyl alcohol I'm using is 99% isopropyl alcohol. Now if that doesn't work, you could also use toothpaste and a toothbrush. Toothpaste is a mild abrasive, and that often works to get the scuff mark off of the plastic. And finally, another solution is using a pencil eraser, like the one I have here. So like I said, Meta doesn't recommend using any of these things to clean your Quest 3, but if you have an unsightly scuff mark that just won't go, then these four methods, all of them or one of them, might be the answer for you. And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have found it helpful, remember to hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed already, you might also want to consider subscribing. As always, thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one.